The best part for me about NDCM is the willingness to help and be genuinely like invested in everybody's academic journeys. There are so many students and staff from different backgrounds. So I developed this attitude of asking more questions and being open about what I do. I was really excited to be involved in a unit that both has preclinical scientists hey, and clinicians working in research. And we're just going to pause the scenario here. There's now amazing teamwork and you don't actually feel alone um, in your research journey. Everyone I meet is so incredibly down to earth and I think this facilitates communication. Research doesn't occur in a vacuum. In our own lab, you've got biomedical engineers, anesthetists, uh, as well as physiotherapists. You need quite a lot of disciplines to answer such a difficult, complex question. NDCN has cutting edge research in relation to the brain. They also host anesthesia as well as critical care. It's quite extraordinary how all of us come together to solve some of the questions within clinical neurosciences. What I like about being in NDCN is that I have access to very precious human patient brain tissue through the Oxford Brain Bank which I could use to put more clinical context into my experimental research. NDCN provides a lot of opportunities for collaboration. I'm using the mass spectrometry technique provided by our collaborators in a biochemistry, we were able to get a very detailed molecular insight. This is information we couldn't have got without our collaborators' help. I think the NDCN is a great place to study sleep uh, because it's home to the Sleep and Circadian Neurosciences Institute, which makes room for a lot of collaboration. You might be exposed to something that you've, you've never heard of or never considered that could take your own studies or your own research to another level. So I work in between the Oxford Eye Hospital and then the Neuroimaging Department and having that overlap um, between the two divisions means we can ask um, really interesting questions about how um, the eye and the brain work together. Let me know if they're comfortable. We can collect all the vision measures in the eye hospital in the morning and then do MRI scanning in the afternoon. I'm interested in the visual cortex, so please can we zoom in on this image? The neuroimaging facilities um, at NDCN are really cutting edge and that's because um, of the people. We can work with physicists and design the methods that are best to collect our data. So I use um, a cutting edge technique, which is um, only really available here. And we can measure neurochemicals at multiple voxels in the brain. Because we're doing this Fourier transform here. So I was really excited to do the graduate imaging course. I didn't have any coding experience and I didn't have any neuroimaging analysis experience and it was a wonderful program. So for this patient, you can see the uh, right... It right helped me to gain a lot of confidence. It helps you to get to know the whole department too, which is really good. I feel like it was completely invaluable to my PhD experience. NDCN is spread out across the entire university. You have facilities and there are respective experts and these resources are available to 
anyone in the department, no matter where you work. So I can have a supervisor that focuses on this disease, Hi, come on in. as well as a co-supervisor who works on something very similar. What's really exciting to me about it is that for a few years of the work that I do, there's the possibility that this can create real, actual life-saving solutions for these patients. The NDCN has supported my transition into neurosciences because in the department there's so many people that have backgrounds in different fields. It's nice to like know that you're not the only one that's sort of like finding your feet. The people from my school don't really go to Oxford. I wasn't really sure like what to expect or how people would treat me. But ever since like I've arrived, I've always felt very like welcome. It is a culture like I haven't seen before. There is no hierarchy and if you're stuck on a problem, you know, you speak to friends and peers, but you can go all the way to the top of people who've developed techniques and everyone is happy to help. Sometimes it's easy for us to ask, why would I be able to go here and accomplish X, Y, Z? But I really stress that it's important to ask, why not me? Contact your research supervisors early on and discuss your project. There is uh, always a way uh, in which they could encourage and support you through the application process. It's really important for people to understand that everyone in Oxford is a normal person who's just really passionate about what they do. So take the step, apply, try your luck, apply for scholarships and you never know what might come of it.